Já viu o rico namorar pobre? You guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here. Today, I am going to be putting together some mystery boxes. I want to thank everyone who took the time to visit my Depop and purchase a mystery box. It's super awesome. So, just a heads up, if you ordered a mystery box and you have not received it yet, you should probably not watch this video because I'm probably going to be pulling pieces for your box. And if you haven't purchased a mystery box yet, I will be posting mystery boxes, I'm thinking 10 a month. And they sell out pretty quickly, but if you guys are interested, visit my Depop. I am at Twinel, and just keep tabs on there. But y'all, for today's video, let's pull some pieces from mystery boxes. I got three racks behind me here, so we'll just see whether they match people's styles. And I look through the buyer's Depop likes, and I get inspo from it. So it won't necessarily be the exact piece, but again, they're pieces that I find now thrifting. And really, when I go out thrifting, I'm looking for like my own personal likes and styles. If I find a detail or a color or a print that matches someone's Depop likes, I'm gonna pull it and include it in the box. So just a heads up, let's get to pulling some pieces. Let's start off with the first box. Usually the first person who comes to me to buy one, I throw in a little free item. And our first buyer is Maria. So Maria, thank you so much. And I'll put up here on the screen her text message of what she doesn't want. She says that she does not want to receive fall winter stuff. I'm looking for summer pieces. So to me that means like sleeveless, cropped, mini, we're just showing a little bit more skin. So let's go into her Depop likes and see what she is looking for or what she likes. And then I'm gonna put a screen recording right over here. Hey y'all, so something that I'm already seeing is that she actually liked one of my pieces listed on my closet. Just a little heads up, if I see that you liked anything from my closet, I'm just gonna like automatically throw it in. She ordered two pieces, so let's see what else. I see a sweater vest, which is awesome because I actually have one. I see another sweater vest print, so that is perfect. I think we're gonna include that. And even though it is like a knit construction, it's sleeveless and it's pretty lightweight, so I think it, it'll be fine for summer, especially if she pairs it with like maybe some shorts or a skirt. And then for her free piece, ooh, another sweater. Okay, for her free piece, let's see what else. A lot of earrings, I don't, for my mystery boxes, I don't do accessories like shoes, earrings or bags. I just usually don't thrift it, so I only do clothes. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a plaid mini skirt that is summerish. We have another mini skirt here with a buckle. I actually have something very similar like that, only it's like a floral print. Let's start pulling. I know exactly what I want to pull. Okay. So automatically we're going to, I don't know where it's at. We're gonna do this Disney shirt. She already liked it, so we're gonna go ahead and include it. It has Mickey all over the straps here. We have embroidery. Oh, sweater vest. Yes. Where are you? Oh, perfect. So look at this here, y'all. This is the print that she had multiple times throughout her life. So we're gonna go with this. And like I said, it's still pretty lightweight. And even like what I'm wearing now with these shorts since they're high-waisted and longer, I think that's heck of cute. And mules, yes, I love it. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this one. I think this one is really cute, perfect for her too. So we're gonna toss this in as her free piece. Okay, Maria, I've got your bundle right here, girl. It is coming to you in a few days. Let's move on to buyer number two. Okay, y'all, let's go to our second buyer, which is Miss Abby. If she wants four pieces, let's take a look at her messages. Okay, I'm pretty short, so I prefer mini skirts than long. Also would not want scrub like pants or blazers. Those are my absolute favorites, so okay, we'll try to stray away from that. Abby, let's go into your likes. Let's see what you are interested in. I see crop tops. We see another t-shirt here. Hmm. More contemporary style, a little corset that's printed. A lot of more t-shirts and sweaters. Yeah, a lot of t-shirts. Okay. I literally only have one t-shirt, so I'll probably give that over to you. Ooh, we see some faux leather. That is my favorite. Some pants, we'll see what I've got. Hmm. Acid wash, love that. Hmm. Ooh, white shorts, this is good. Some Levi's, are they high-waisted? We have a few feminine pieces. It's like a combination of really casual masculine style with a few feminine pieces with like dresses, which I think is super cool. Ooh, another pair of white shorts. Okay, this is good. I know which white shorts I wanna give you. She's a fan of panties. I literally only have one t-shirt, one graphic t-shirt. We've got this one here and it's a bit more oversized. I think they're really fun to style. If you guys haven't seen it already, I actually have a video where I style t-shirts. And so we'll do this one as her first piece. So these are some guests high-waisted denim shorts that I think are super cool. So she does tend to have more panties and denim and these like 
jackets that aren't necessarily my style so this is going to be a tricky but also a case of pieces that i would pull that are somewhat similar or if i see it, some sort of detail so like for example i'm a huge fan of vinyl and faux leather i saw some faux leather pants on her thing so let's go ahead and start pulling and looking at my leather and vinyl skirts I don't know which skirt to go with. Do we want to go something a bit more simple or do we want to go something with texture and more zipper detailing? I don't know because her style was a bit more minimalistic. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, let's see this one. So it looks like we kind of have a theme going on. Um, even though her style is a bit more casual, like I said, I think I'm going to push it to a casual grunge type look. Okay, so for the fourth piece, I did see a slip in her light. I have plenty of slips. Do I want to keep it on theme of this? Probably. Um, let's see. I think I might actually go with this one because it has adjustable straps so she can adjust it to her length as much as she wants to. And it makes a really cool layering piece. You could wear it with high-waisted pants or shorts or just wear it like that with some tights and some boots. Yes, that's really cute. Let me just take some quick measurements. Yeah, this should fit her. Okay, let's do this one. That'd be super cute. Yes, I feel good about this one. I think it's good. It is, I want to say, pushing outside of her likes and maybe her comfort zone, but I think it's fun. With this done, let's move on to buy-in number three. Okay, y'all, let's move on to Lauren. Let's see what she says. She says, I don't like sequins or glitter. I've noticed that while I do wear cropped clothing, I don't like anything too short because I tend to wear it less often. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at her pop lights and see what kind of style Lauren has here. So we have two things. We have inspo and then we have likes. Mm, inspo, we only have four things and it looks like some satin, slips, a dress. Let's go into her likes, see if we get more here. I see like a bohemian style at first with the very top row here with these light colors, the crochet type thing. Uh, I see a tube top, very cute. I have a tube top that's green actually, this might work. Midi skirts, my absolute favorite. Yes, we will do that. We see some white pieces. Ooh, we see a corset. Okay, I'll take a look at this. Okay, y'all, so she did like one of my corsets, but unfortunately, it does fit her an inch too small, and this corset is tight, like super freaking tight. So I won't be including that, but if she likes corsets, I I've got one for her, actually. Okay, yeah, I already know. A corset, I could do that for you. A midi skirt, I could do that for you. Let's start pulling. Okay, y'all, I found the first piece. We have this cute midi skirt. I actually pulled this from my closet because I don't wear it as often anymore, and so I think it's really cute. Okay, y'all, so we have this corset here. I absolutely love this one. I think it's super cute. I thrifted it at St. Vincent de Paul. Perfect, y'all. We have Lauren's two pieces. She's going to take this corset here, which I think is super cute, and then this awesome floral midi skirt. Lauren, you are done. Okay, let's move on to buyer number four. So our next buyer is Miss Jane here. So she ordered six pieces. Let's take a look at her messages and see what she does not want. So she says, what I do not want to receive, earrings, skirts, shorts above the knee, maybe length of my fade, no t-shirts, no blazers, no menswear, no winter clothes, no yellow, and also no pastels. What? Pastels are my favorite. Okay, and no heels, and no open toe shoes. What I forgot to mention is that she mentioned she didn't have very many Depop likes, so she actually gave me her Pinterest board. So let's take a look at that. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of like 90s pieces, which is super cool. A lot of cow print, green, ooh, a milkmaid top. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I have something like that. That might work for her. A lot of puff sleeves, which is very feminine, love that. I have quite a few pieces like that. Cardigan, a lot of mini skirts, love it. Ooh, this red dress is actually similar to what uh, something that I have, so that might work. It's funny that she doesn't want pastels because she has a lot of pastels on here, actually. So let's start pulling pieces. Okay, y'all, this is the first piece that I'm gonna go with. She already had a milkmaid top there. The puff sleeves you saw as a reoccurring style, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just put this off to the side for now. The second item, puff sleeves, oh yes, a dress. I do have a dress, it's literally almost the same exact thing, it was like a red dress. So we have this one here. This is more of a lighter green. I don't know if you would consider this pastel though. Maybe it is, but honestly, this was like the same dress she had. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe. So Jane, you are taking these guest jeans right off my hands. I love these, they're super cool. And then I did see a lot of like cow print and leopard. I don't necessarily have cow, but I do have quite a bit of leopard pieces. So I see these right away. I love these, think these are super fun. Let me just take a quick waist measurement. And this is more of the, the contemporary 
side that she maybe was going for on her Pinterest. Yep, these fit her, so let's go with these awesome animal print. They're also a velvet construction with kind of a, a flare leg. I also have this leopard print here. I think we'll include this. It's a halter top, you can't really go wrong with it. It makes a good layering piece, so we'll toss that in there. Okay, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue one. This one is also really fun. It is in pastel, but it's a bit more on the vibrant blue side, so I think this will be really fun. Even with my meals now, I think it is super cute. Those are Jane's six pieces. Let's move on to the next buyer. <laughs> okay, y'all, so the next buyer is Gideon. They were interested in two pieces. They actually reached out because they were more interested in maxi dresses. For sure, already a maxi dress was going to be included, guaranteed. Let's go ahead and take a look at this person's Depop likes to see what we can get. We have a ton of maxi skirts, so that makes sense. Ooh, I see a mini skirt, perfect. Let's see, ooh, y'all. See, right here makes this super, super easy is that they already have a few likes from my closet. We have this tan sleeveless shirt with little flowers at the bottom, which I think is really cute. And then we've got this knitted shirt that's actually a vintage piece that I got from an estate sale. So I think I, think I might wanna include the green one just because it has a bit more color. Ooh. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at her maxi dresses. This one right here is pretty similar to something that I recently thrifted. So y'all, this is pretty easy. I think I know exactly what I wanna go with. Look at this dress. Doesn't this look like almost a replica of the one she had on her Depop likes? The only difference are these really cool antique looking buttons or like vintage buttons. And then we have a lace up back closure so they can adjust the dress to their silhouette, maybe cinch in their waist a bit to give more of a feminine look. So for sure, we are going with this dress. This one right here. She liked this vintage piece. I got this, like I said, at an estate sale. It's super soft and I think this will be perfect since she already liked it. Gideon, your mystery box is all done. So let's move on to the next buyer. Okay, so we have Miss May who is interested in the three piece box. Y'all, so I know it wasn't posted on my Instagram or my Depop that there was a three piece, but I try to work with you guys as much as you can. So if you want an in between between a two box and a four box and you're looking for a reasonable price, I could also do that for you. So I'm very flexible with pricing or with how many pieces you need. So just hit me up in the future if you ever need that. She says, my style is a bit all over the place right now, but I definitely think my Depop likes are the best representation. I say 60s, 70s with random 90s pieces thrown in. I love colors, girl, me too. <laughs> so I don't think I'd ever wear anything dark, black, gray, navy. I'm not a huge fan of maxi skirts. Mm -hmm. Dresses, since I'm not super tall, okay, feel that. I'm okay with fitted tops, but I prefer not wearing any dresses or bottoms that are bodycon tight, okay? A few random things I dislike are t-shirts, baby tees, cheetah print, or any other animal prints in general, and words on clothing. Let's take a look at her likes. She says, I think this might be a case where we're looking at more retro vintage pieces, since she says she likes more 60s and 70s, and a little bit of night. This dress here, or this top, does look a bit more vintage in like 60s. We have puff sleeves. Okay, yeah, definitely more on the vintage side here. Dresses that look very feminine and timeless. Ooh, bold colors with the sweaters and these polka dots. Okay. Cool, cool. Ooh, she actually liked one of my pieces. And she liked this very bright, bold orange. But honestly, I would throw that in, but I'm not going to toss that into the box just because there is a really, like, big discoloration it's not very noticeable but it's still I guess you would say damaged so I don't want to include that in her box okay yeah I know exactly what I want to do then okay so she says 60s I recently thrifted this and I think it is so freaking cute where are you sure here you are yo look at this I love this top oh the cups are look at the cups on this the neckline, oh yes, I love this. I think this will be perfect for her. She can easily pair this with, if she wants a more modern twist, some jeans, or if she wants to keep it vintage, she can do some trousers or a very classic printed skirt. These are more retro and very vintage. Let me just check if these will fit her. But y'all, I am obsessed with this. I wish I could fit into these, but they are just way too tight on me. You guys, these are gonna fit her literally like perfectly so i'm gonna go ahead and do these these are really fun print and then i wanted to throw in something a bit more 90s because she did have you know a splash of you know trendier pieces i decided i'm gonna do this one this one literally screams 90s i'm gonna go ahead and do those so we now have her three pieces we are doing this little cute cropped cardigan we've got these awesome pants and then this really awesome shirt here okay so May, you are all done. Let's move on to our next buyer. Our next buyer is Sienna. Okay, 
So she is interested in two pieces. So she says, I would not like to receive pants, vests, boxy fit, or dark colors. Okay. So dark colors to me, again, I'm gonna assume that that is no blacks, no grays, no navies. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at her Depop likes. Okay. We're falling more into a feminine style here. Okay, we've got these like cute little baby doll dresses with puff sleeves. Ooh, I already see a gem, midi skirts love. We could do that for sure. Let's see, more puff sleeves. Ooh, we have red. I love that. Yes, I actually have this like red and pink midi skirt that I recently thrifted. So that actually works perfectly with this skirt here and this whole like color scheme that she has going on. She also has this Y2K um, style bundle that she liked. So I could do that. I like the sleeveless look that she has constantly throughout here, like something like this. Okay, I think I wanna stay more in this realm where it's more early 90s, still very feminine though. I have an idea for sure we're gonna go with a midi skirt and maybe some sort of top to complement that so let's see what I've got so she had like this section of a whole bunch of red pieces I feel like this color perfectly matches that so I'm just gonna take a quick waist measurement and see if it fits it fits perfectly and then what kind of top do I want to do I think I want to do something more sleeveless I am stuck I think I'm gonna give her an all red piece I don't know if she's gonna be mad about that, but I think it's kind of awesome. Okay, but I don't know if I wanna do a sleeveless top with this very feminine neckline, or if you wanna just continue with a more intricate 90s look and do this little cardigan here. Sienna is gonna be walking away with an all red pinkish fit, which I think is super cute, and this awesome little cardigan and this skirt. Yes, so cute. It doesn't necessarily have to go together, but y'all know where I'm getting at. Okay. So Sienna, you are all done. Let's move to the next buyer. We are pulling four pieces today for Miss Evangelina from Quantum Thrift. So let's go and take a look at her Depop likes and see what she is interested in. Let's see. So I'm first on her selling page. Oh yeah, I do want to mention Evangelina has her own YouTube. So if you guys want to check it out, it'll be right here. She will be opening this thrift box. Let's look at her page. It looks like we have a lot of dresses, so love that, very cute. Again, very feminine. Let's see, we have a lot of button up shirts, very cute, love that. But I love that she has a lot of prints, very cute. I'm not seeing very much color though, so we'll see. Okay, going into her likes, I'm seeing a lot of feminine pieces again. This is an awesome little dress here, puff sleeves. Looks to be more on the vintage side, so kind of scared about that. Seen a lot of maxi dresses, button-up shirts, very vintage. I'm seeing a lot of knit constructed polos, which I don't have a lot of. I recently thrifted one of them. I think we ran into a tough one here. I think for her color scheme, I'm gonna keep it a bit more neutral because I'm not seeing very many bold colors. So let's take a look at what I have. So this one is kind of tough just because she doesn't have very many Depop likes. Things that she does have liked, I can't really offer because they do fall more in the like kind of vintage retro aspect of things. I think I'm just gonna add a little twist, add a mix up of things that I can. Okay y'all, I think I found the first piece. This isn't too bold. I mean the print I think is pretty awesome. It's pleasy construction. It's still very trendy now because it has a lettuce edge trim and it is neutral. So it is kind of plain and safe while still being stylish. So I really like that. And it's a midi skirt. So still very feminine. I'm going to go ahead and go with this dress. I feel like it, it is similar to something that she already has on her shop, but this has a bit more of a vintage touch. I have this one that I recently thrifted, but this is a very bold, bright, green color which is really trendy we can go a little bit more extreme with the print and do something like this which is a bit more oversized which i did see and then again keeping to her neutral colors i think i'm honestly leaning more towards the green just because it does have a bit more of a feminine style and it's more true to the polos that she was liking but this one is pretty awesome too so why not both I decided which pieces I'm gonna give Evangelina. So I decided for sure to do the dress because she had tons of dresses. 
I decided to do the polo because she had tons of polos on there. I know this is pretty bright compared to what she had, but you know what? Now's a good time to experiment with color, so why not? She did have one single like on a button up shirt, so I'm gonna give this one a try. And then lastly, for a little touch that I want to add is a midi skirt because I love them so much. Fingers crossed. It works out. Don't forget to visit her channel, y'all. I'll leave it listed right here. But Evangelina, your box is all done. Let's move on to the very last buyer, y'all. We are down to our very last buyer, and it is for Miss Alexa Sunshine 83. Okay, y'all, so she is looking for a six-piece item, and these are her do not wants. If there are bottoms, I do not want anything that isn't high-waisted. So anything that's a skirt or pants, high-waist. If it's a skirt, I'd rather have mini length versus a maxi or mini. I personally would not like any maxi skirts or dresses. If it's a dress, I prefer no long sleeves. I hate polos and things that are super see-through. I don't want any blazers. I have way too many girls to do it. Or honestly, any jackets at all. I don't need any of it. I think that is it. Okay, sweet. Let's go ahead and take a look at Alexa's likes and see what kind of style she has. If you guys follow her channel, you probably already know her style. Um, I started getting into her videos a little while back ago, so I kind of have an idea. I usually see like a lot of denim, high-waisted mom jeans, and like t-shirts, but let's go ahead and just take a look at her likes. And we are looking at, so right off the bat, we're running into some t-shirts. I have one shoulder crop tops, my favorite, love them. Let's see, we've got a plaid mini skirt. Silk, love, love. Oh my gosh, y'all. You gotta be kidding me. She's She liked a lioness top. I have that exactly, so I might just toss that in for her. Let's take a look. High-waisted pants, perfect. Ooh, a lot of silk slips. Do I have any more? I think I might have a few left, and I have a red one, so that might be cute. It's like an OG Victoria's Secret. I do see a lot of girly, you know, springy, summery pieces, so I can definitely do that. Okay, so let's get pulling. I think I kind of understand the style that she's going for. Let's take a look at what I have. Okay, let's start pulling some pieces. The first one that I know for sure I'm gonna pass over to her is this milkmaid top. She literally liked the same exact lioness top. But I do have are these vintage guest high-waisted shorts that are really distressed at the bottom and then they have these golden spikes, which I think might be perfect for her just because she does seem to like more grungy and like edgier styles as you can tell from her deep pop legs and she is more on the taller side she's 5'7 so we have to keep that in mind too she did have a lot of corduroy which is super funny is that she liked these exact pants on Depop, but they fit me cropped, so I'm sure, sure, sure that they're gonna fit her cropped. She did have corduroy on there, so I'm thinking maybe a longer short would be really cute for a grungy look. In her likes, she actually liked this really cute silk yellow shirt, I'll put it here, but it has long sleeves, and she said no long sleeves, so we've got this cute little short sleeve button up shirt and this is Victoria's Secret but it has that similar floral print to it I think this would fit her style perfectly because she did have a few shirts like this Ooh, okay we might have to switch some things around because I'm really loving this and stuff but that pretty much does it for Alexa we are all done here are all the mystery bundles that we put together today loved it, it was so much fun Guys, that was a long process, but they are all done. If you liked any of the mystery bundles, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know in the comments which bundle was your favorite. If you guys are interested in a mystery bundle, I think I've decided to only do 10 a month just because this is a lot of work. And honestly, some of y'all are super specific. That I think I want to style fit and then just post them and not have any mystery whatsoever and see how that goes. Just because I feel like some of you guys really did want to know and want specific pieces included in your box so i totally get that so i'm gonna try this other route see how it works while still making mystery boxes available but if you haven't had a chance to get your hands on one just remember i post 10 a month now and it's usually going to be the first saturday of each month so just keep that in mind if you guys want to follow me on depop i am at tuanel and if you guys want to keep up with me throughout the week i also got an instagram i am at egg girl but y'all thanks so much for all the support that you've been showing with these mystery boxes as always i post videos once a week I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!